sketched out for us with great clarity the trajectory of statehood of the Slovak Republic. You have spoken with passion about your vision for the future. I was particularly taken about your comments both in the address and towards the end of the address about the role of universities. Students only get into UCL if they're outstanding, and I'm happy to say we have many Slovak students in UCL and we expect many more to come in future years. And then you sketched also the relationship between Slovakia and the United Kingdom and the steadiness of that relationship over time and the warmth with which it is perceived on both sides. So we're uh, remarkably indebted to you this morning. Now, the Prime Minister has very generously agreed to, uh, to take some questions from the floor. Uh, and I will invite in a moment those of you who would wish to uh, ask him some questions. Can I explain that those questions uh, will then be answered in the Prime Minister's own language, uh, partly for the benefit of, of, of media, so uh, that the translator will assist us in um, uh, translating them into English for the rest of us. So, ladies and gentlemen, please, the opportunity now, because you also have some roving microphone somewhere. Mr. President, if you allow me, I'd like to explain my position. Uh, really, I would like to avoid any misunderstanding and uh, disinterpretation of my answers in English because uh, Solar Media are present and I believe that uh, my speech uh, will be I mean, uh, in a part of discussion on probably Wednesday or Thursday. So uh, I'd like to answer my questions in Solar language. I think it would be better, and uh, the interpreter is fantastic, so I hope that uh, <laughs> everything will go without any problem. Thank you very much for your understanding. Thank you very much. One hand. Uh, Mr. Prime Minister, uh, you spoke a lot about what was done wrong over the past 20 years. Um, as a student from Slovakia, I came in to study medicine because of UCL's reputation as one of the best universities in the world, as you said. Um, <coughs> the situation in, Slo in Slovak universities is very different. And I fear more and more people will go abroad to study, leading to an academic brain drain. In concrete steps, how do you plan to improve educa university education in Slovakia to a level where it can compete with top European institutions and where thus preventing this brain drain and perhaps even attracting some of us back to Slovakia. Thank you very much for your question. You have the truth that Slovak universities are very strong and the most important Slovak university. The University of Komenska in Bratislava is somewhere between 400 and 500 places. I remember this information. Thank you very much for this question. You're right saying that uh, Slovak universities are not uh, evaluated very high internationally. Uh, the best Slovak university is the Comenius University and still it ranks between the 400 and the 5th position in the world. Very briefly, I would like to elaborate on this. Uh, first, of all, first of all, we did many mistakes, mainly in the fact that we allowed the situation in which too many universities were created with uh, not always high quality. Rozpočet určený pre vysoké školstvo bol takto rozdielovaný na veľké množstvo inštitúcií. And it means that uh, the budget for universities was uh, distributed among too many institutions. Nedostatok finančných prostriedkov spôsobil nízku kvalitu pedagogického zboru. Lack of financial means caused also low quality of teachers. Na druhej strane, profesionálni a dobrí učiteľi a pedagógovia museli často vyvíjať ďalšie aktivity po pri vyučovaniu aby si dokázali zabezpečiť určitý slušný životný štýl. At the same time, university teachers were forced to take another job to provide for their decent lives. 
neviem porovnať kvality lekárskych fakult, ale môžem povedať porovnanie právnických fakult. I cannot compare the qualities of medical faculties, however, I can compare law faculties. A opäť sa však musím vrátiť do obdobia pred rok 1989 a povedať, že ak dáme nabok ideologické nálosy, tak štruktúra a kvalita vyučovania bola podstatne systematickejšia, ako je tomu teraz. However, here I have to go back even before 1989, And I have to say that uh, if we put ideology aside, then the structure and quality of uh, university institutions was much better than today. Najlepší pedagógovia na právnických fakultách sú dnes veľmi, veľmi zaangažovaní v komerčnej sfére a venujú tomu, na čo boli pripravovaní, podstatne menej energie a prípravy, ako tomu bolo v minulosti. The best teachers at law faculties are now engaged in uh, private businesses and they spend uh, much less time uh, on their university activities than it was in the past. Recept je preto pomerne jednoduchý, ale veľmi bolestivý. And therefore the recipe is quite simple, however painful. Podporuje ministra školstva vlády Slovenskej republiky v tom, že prostredníctvom akreditačného hodnotenia začína presne rozdeľovať školy, ktoré majú právo prežiť ako vysokoškolské zariadenia a školy takéto právo nebudú mať. Uh, we fully support uh, the action of the Ministry of Education who uh, adopted a plan of accreditation system uh, through which he would uh, split universities and tertiary education institutions into those who have full right for their existence and those who just do not meet the requirements and criteria. Jednoducho určený rozpočet musí ísť do vysokoškolských zariadení s vysokou kvalitou. Do zariadení, ktoré budú koncentrované a nie do zariadení, ktoré vznikli často len z úzkých politických dôvodov v niektorých častiach Slovenskej republiky. It means that the budget will be used for universities with high quality and standards and concentrated institutions rather than uh, on universities which were created often only because of some political reasons and wishes.